Hey everyone, Piskin and I are still testing patch 24.0 in the dev build due to the fact that the patch will soon be released on the live server. This is another video in the series of testing the upcoming changes. This time let's take under the microscope a new deck Piskin invented, which is the Genie Sultan with Night Statue. This deck is surprisingly powerful and every Genie player should try it out. The damage from Vortex coming from a large number of stacks combined with the base damage boosted by Night Statue is simply amazing. Take a look and let me know what you think down in the comment. Enjoy the watch. As some of you already knew, I recently received my content creator promo code, which you can use during your Rush Real Market purchases. It's a very simple thing to do if you need to buy gems, platinum or any pass, event passes as well. You can just buy platinum with which you can buy an event pass. You go to Rush Real Market, the link will also be in the description of the video along with my promo code. Select your desired item, enter your Rush Real ID, which you can find in the game in the settings tab. Enter the code MANTI as a secret code, then you can add your nickname and message to me which will also appear in my panel. Choose any form of payment and that's it. By using my code I get 10% revenue from each purchase so I can continue to grow my channel, stream, account or do more giveaways for you. Thanks for using my code. Activated. It'll fall off. Oh my god, I have triple double toil. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, you play Sultan? I got two. I got two double tiles. So, we're good. so we don't play the, 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 the other one? Nah, so they act like nice statues, so you want to put them in between them. And um, kind of have them close to each other, like diagonal, so that you can make formations with both of them. And it'll yeah some big old damage so i don't think i can do that with these tiles well you just put one next to each other put one on put the sultan on a, on uh on one of the zeus tiles not the damage shot because the other one will be buffed more So you want me to put the Sultan on the Zeus style, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next to the yeah, next here. So then, so yeah, so then the double tile will be the the buffed one. Okay. And then you just do one, just do the Sultan on, on the other damage shot down at at the top. Yeah, but it's, it will be on the double tile. So I, yeah. I think uh, I think I will want. Maybe you can do it next to it. I mean, yeah. oh no, it w better would be to the right because then I have uh, yeah. on the diagonal and yeah horizontal. Yeah. 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 Nice. I want to eat this guy and then the Sultan. All right, perfect. And then we eat this and we set up the guy here. Going somewhere.
Guys, best genie formation is four in the middle row, leaving Lambert to pile empty in one middle top row in bottom. Keep a blue activated sword for one so you get faster stacks after bonuses. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm, like I said, I'm not genie expert. Uh, but I think I have pretty good um, setup right now. Like, I keep six genies for now. I will. Uh, once, once I stack my amulet, then I will do another one here. And then, pretty much, wherever. I summon it will be uh, activated of course not yet since I'm still trying to get my stacks and amulet Now I'm done. So I want to have Genie here, I think. And that would be perfect. I will have only two tiles where I cannot uh, activate Genies. But I still think it will be good enough. Why is that formation? Because every time you summon a Genie in Lamp tile, you get five stacks instead of one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That could be it. Now all I need to do is to look for a blue sword. Yeah, and I should most likely merge more instead of just scrapping every 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 unit because I have a chance to get another genie, and that would be smart. just has a chance to re-trigger uh, before you have the full scrap so it has a chance to send a scrap before it, uh, before you're done scrapping the, the amount
it's it's decent yeah it's you get more merge ranks with that but this side i feel like you get a lot of merge ranks by merging and juice scrappers a bunch and then you just use the button to re-trigger them down i think that's the best way honestly Active it's right at the bottom. Yeah, 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 I keep it. I keep it. play for stacks for now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Give me Genie! Give me Genie, please! <laughs> you know they're not answering. <laughs> <laughs> Catching up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they should. Maybe we can get it next time. Oh, that's him. Nicely. Finally. How much man you got? Twenty k. Yeah. Oh my god, what are these marriages, man? Scraps. Alright. 
with so much mana. Yeah. Because I have to wait sometimes for the scrub scrubber cooldown. Just kind of annoying, kind of. Biscuit, come on, you can do it. Oh dang, I was, I was taking a rip. It's not looking good here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it was looking really good. Oh, I greased it. Okay. <laughs> oh look, another priest. You didn't expect it to work that good? Yeah, this. Wave 18. The only problem is that I'm stuck with these scrappers all the time. And now we are locking damage. with the bosses. It's just the wave, I don't know. Heal it! Oh, come on! Yeah... Gorgon kinda screwed me. With lamp, it would be better, honestly. You won. Okay, 99 bill. That wasn't bad. I think nice set should be better. With it.